Hey guys, welcome back to Black Wolf Audio. Hope everything's going well. Today we're going to be doing episode six of Plug Into Review, and uh, we're going to be reviewing the Waves uh, Renaissance EQ. Uh, this is a pretty standard basic EQ uh, that people are still able to get with a lot of bundles and specials and stuff. Uh, so uh, since you guys probably have this in your inventory or capable of getting it, uh, I want to go ahead and talk about it, uh, mention, you know, kind of talk about its functionality and how I like it and what I don't like about it as well. So so uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of its features. So the Renaissance EQ uh, has a total of six bands and there's two other versions of it where you can have a two band or a four band as well. If I'm, I'm correct, I believe that's what the case is uh, in which the uh, low end band and the high end have uh, four different features that you're able to adjust. You can change it from a bell, uh, high shelf, low pass and the uh, high res shelf, which is kind of more of a tilt EQ if I remember correctly. Let's take a look. Same thing here with this guy, right? Um, and the other ones, the other four in between, you're actually only able to change from a bell to a low shelf, right? So you do have some options there, not as a lot as some other plugins, but you still have some options there. The other nice thing about this plugin is that you are able to move each band across the frequency spectrum uh, without any limitations. So you get full range, which is nice as well. Um, and you also have an output. So pretty simple, basic EQ. I feel that this is a step up from anyone who, let's say if you are in Pro Tools using the standard, uh, where is it? EQ seven band right here, uh, where this only allows you to pick a certain frequency range, right? Uh, but uh, again, so the uh, Renaissance EQ might be a little bit of a step up for you. Um, now, what I wanna do is this. I wanna show you guys this track that I have. It's going to be just of a uh, room microphone picking up a breakdown for uh, some drums and a metal track. And I, I wanna show you where sometimes uh, this uh, EQ can have a little bit of limitations, all right? So let's take a quick listen. All right, so as you can hear there, that's gonna be our room mic. Uh, we had no EQ moves applied to this. Uh, the only thing we had here was this, but it was bypassed. So again, nothing was affecting it, right? Now, if you're working with uh, dr uh, room mics, probably one of the first things that you're gonna to wanna to do is control that low end, especially from the kick drum. So the first thing I'll naturally do is go ahead and make a tight cue and find a frequency spot in which I wanna go ahead and take out that low end. So at about 100 there is where I wanted to, and I was able to do it pretty free, uh, pretty easily. Now let's say if I want to cut out some low end mud, uh, let's go ahead and try to do that with another band. So let's try band three. All right, and let's go ahead and work on some of the harshness that we're hearing in this track too. All right, and we were kind of able to figure out what we wanted to do. Now, uh, that was pretty easy to do. Now let's take a listen to it through a compressor, which is probably what you would do next anyways. And life is all good and well. So definitely a very usable, easy to use EQ. Uh, if you haven't used, uh, if you haven't had the luxury to work on an EQ uh, where it gives you full range, this will be able to give you the ability to do so. And you have six bands, which might be better than some plugins that only offer you four. Now let's talk about the things I don't like about this plugin though. This plugin is very, very old. I got back into uh, recording audio mixing uh, and editing probably back in 2009. This plugin has been around since before that. So it's a very dated EQ. There are new EQs out there on the market, such as the Fab Filter EQ, which I find to be a much more superior EQ. Though it is more expensive, it is highly worth the investment. Um, now, uh, the reason why is this, is because the fact that, first of all, this is a very small display to be working on, uh, not that it's not usable, obviously you can see that I was able to do the same thing here, but uh, having a nice uh, a nice size display does help a little bit with locating the problems and uh, you know that's taking some of your time and as they say in the industry time is money um, now, 
The other thing I don't like about it in comparison to the Fab Filter EQ, uh, you're able to go ahead and solo each band to find where the problematic frequencies are. Now, I do understand that Fab Filter EQ it has that kind of unique thing about it. There's not many, a lot of EQs that do uh, that does that. And there are a lot of really great EQs that don't allow you to solo the bands, but are still really good. As far as a generic EQ though, that's that's kind of what I would say this EQ is. It's very simple. It's kind of a step up if you're trying to get away from your stock plugins that come with your DAW. Now, let's take a look at the price really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the uh, um, pluginsdiscount.com actually. All right, guys, so we're at the website. As you can see here, uh, Plugins Discount is offering this for $85. For a very dated and generic EQ, I would not spend 90 bucks on this EQ. Uh, not that it's bad, but I feel that you could probably get by, save up your cash, and buy a copy of the Fab Filter Pro Q, which right here, as you can see, is on sale for $151, in which you're going to have a much better much more pleasant experience of working with this EQ opposed to the other one. The only suggestion I would make is that if you were going to buy a bundle from Waves, such as like the uh, Waves Gold or Silver, which every now and again they drop to some ridiculous price of like a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, whatever the case may be, and this was included, I would go ahead and buy it just to have it in your inventory. But I wouldn't. Uh, I would buy that bundle if it had additional plugins that I really kind of need as well. So again. Maybe not the most important um, EQ to add to your inventory. Um, useful, but again, generic in its function, and it can be a little bit limiting, uh, opposed to, again, other superior EQs. Um, if you want to get this thing for cheap, I th I mean, it's 90 bucks, uh, and this is on PluginDiscount.com. I really don't know any other place that you can get it for cheaper, unless you went to maybe Reverb.com. But again, it not being an EQ that I'm really in need of, uh, I really wasn't willing to go into in-depth research to see where you can find this thing on the low. Anyways, guys, so I hope you guys like this uh, review. Uh, I hope I was able to save you guys some money, uh, kind of demonstrate how this plugin works. If you did like it, please do me a favor, give me a like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the sections below for different plugins that you'd like to see me review on the next episode of Plugin to Review.